The one thing I want you to learn from this video is that fleas are disgusting and you should protect your pets from getting fleas. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. It's been a pleasure, bye. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new and this is the first video of mine that you're watching, I have a lot more videos, like 150 to be exact. And you should definitely check those out, you know? Cause I've worked really hard on them. But regardless, you're here, welcome. I thank you, I appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe before you leave and there's this crazy thing that you can do there's like this cute little bell that you can hit and be notified of all of my videos isn't that crazy and when you do hit the notification bell you become part of the birch family and then you're stuck with me forever today i wanted to talk to you guys about fleas yes fleas because they are disgusting <laughs> so nasty. Literally every other patient that I have messed with at the clinic has fleas. Fleas down in the south are so bad. Like they are bad. And then people don't put their pets on flea prevention and then they just breed fleas. Isn't that gross? It's so gross. Let's talk about why you should even care about fleas in the first place. Not only are fleas extremely annoying, your pets can have allergic reactions to fleas, which we call flea dermatitis. For patients that do have flea dermatitis, it's very important that they stay on a flea prevention year round. Don't get me wrong, there are some areas in the country or in other countries that don't have to use a flea product year round. If you are unsure, speak to your veterinarian and they can definitely let you know what they recommend. Because flea allergy dermatitis can lead to skin bacterial infection, which is called pyoderma. And it's not fun. It's not fun for your pets. That's not fun. Some pets that have extreme flea infestations can also develop anemia. And that's when there is a drop in red blood cells within the body. Body. One thing that's really gross is that fleas can transmit the bacteria that causes the bubonic plague. Are you grossed out yet? Fleas can also transmit tapeworms when your pet ingests them, like when they're grooming themselves or grooming other animals that have fleas. And now tapeworms are intestinal parasites that can cause malnutrition if they go untreated. Ew. Another thing that I wanted to make very clear is that fleas bite people too. One time there was this old lady who had a dog that was covered in fleas. I mean, it was disgusting. But the dog had long hair, so the lady would never believe us when we told her that her dog had fleas. The dog ended up passing away, probably because it had tapeworms and it was anemic and probably had the bubonic plague. I don't know why the dog passed away. And then, all the fleas that were living in her house started to bite her. And you know what? Then she came to terms with the fact that her dog was infested with fleas. So fleas are extremely hardy animals that have been around for over 10 million years. They have an exoskeleton that can withstand high pressures and is also shock resistant. Let's talk about signs that your pet may have fleas. So fleas cause a lot of pets to be very, very itchy. A lot of times when patients have fleas, they'll start biting at their back or their butt or their back legs or their tail. Another way that you can tell if your pet has fleas, look at your pet's skin and see if you can find any black little spots that look like pepper. That is what we call flea dirt. No, it's not dirt. It's actually flea <laughs> Ew, your dog has flea poop on it. So the flea dirt is actually poop or it is digested blood. A way that you can tell if it's actually flea dirt or if it's dirt is to get some on a paper towel and put some peroxide on there or you can also just put some water on there. And if it starts to turn a red or a rust color, that's flea poop, which means your pet has fleas. So let's talk about how to treat and prevent flea infestations. When you're choosing a flea prevention, make sure that you're getting a prevention that targets more than just one stage of the flea's life cycle. There are many safe and effective flea preventions out there. I can make a whole other video on the products that I personally like if you want to see it. If you have a dog that is only inside but goes outside to just go to the bathroom, that's going outside. Put him on a flea prevention. This may sound ridiculous, but always make sure that you read the product instructions because some products, if given incorrectly, can be toxic. So just make sure you're doing what you're supposed to do. Finally, do not, I repeat, do not use a flea prevention that is meant for a dog on a cat. Some dog products contain ingredients that can be toxic or even fatal to cats. Cats are not dogs. Do not give them dog medication. All right, I hope this video was fun and educational. Maybe you learned something. Hopefully you're grossed out. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.